Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another BBAQW tutorial video. Today, me and Raj will be doing one for some of the newer players and we're going to be showing you guys how to join the Legion. So the first step of joining the Legion is slash join Underworld. Now, um, keep in mind to join the Legion, you will need to have 1200 ACs available. Uh, but also, uh, we'll show you a method later of how you can make back 90% of those ACs. So you want to head off to the right here, click on Dage here, and go to his shops. Uh, then you'll want to go to the armor shop. Once you're here, you want to purchase Undead Warrior. This is how you will start joining the Legion. This is a required armor, and yeah. So after you've got that, you want to go back to his quest, click quest, and go to Legion quest. You'll need to complete all the quests up to fail to the king. So we're going to start with Undead Champion Initiate. Initiation. So uh, for this, you'll need to kill the Black Knight from Greenard. Green Guard, you'll need the Black Knight's Eternal Contract. Now, so what you want to do is slash join Green Guard West. Now, once you're here, you want to follow me. You want to go to the left, then you want to go up. Keep going up. And here is the Black Knight King. So you want to go to his quest. And you want to accept the hardly suiting armor quest. Now the first thing you'll need is um, you'll just need to get all these various armor pieces. So to get the first one, you want to head down into this cave right here or slash join Green Dragon. Once you're here in Green Dragon, you just want to kill the Green Dragon. There we go, we've got his chest piece. Uh, the next thing you'll want to do is slash join Trunk. Once you are here in Trunk, you want to kill the Green Guard Basilisk. And there you go, we've got that. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is slash join Well. Once you're here in Well, you want to walk through here and kill this Gel O No. Now, uh, it's not a 100% drop, but you, you might have to kill him a couple times, but that's okay. And the final thing you want to kill is you want to go up here, return to Green Guard East. Do you slash join. Deathgazer. Yep. Slash join Deathgazer. Once you're here in Deathgazer, you want to kill the Deathgazer. And that should give you your final piece to fight the Black Knight. Now we're going to cut back to when we are at the Black Knight. Alright, so once you're back at the Black Knight, you want to go to the quest, turn it in, and get your Black Knight orb. After that, you want to go to Summon. And here you are. Now you're at the Black Knight, you want to kill him, and you will get your quest item. So after that, we are going to head back to the Underworld and go on to our second quest. Alright guys, so after you have your Black Knight slain thing, you want to go back to Dage the Evil, go to his quest, go to Legion quest. Then you can accept the quest Mourn the Soldiers. You'll need to kill a Skeletal Soldier, a Chaos Drow, Fishman Soldier, and a Dwekel Soldier. So to get the Skeletal Soldier slain, you want to slash join Sword Haven Undead. Once you're here in the very first room, there's your Skeletal Soldier, only 400 HP, so not bad at all. The next thing you'll need is a Chaos Drow slain, so you want to slash join Vath. Once you're in slash join Vath, here is your Chaos Drow. The next thing you'll need to do is slay a level 7 Fishman Soldier, and that is from slash join Lolusia. And to join Lelugia, you want to slash join Pirates. Once you're in Pirates, you see the Fisherman Soldier, kill him, and there you go. Now, the final thing you'll need for this uh, Dage quest is to kill the Dwekel Soldier, and that's the only one, so you can only kill this one at Willow Creek. So you want to slash join Willow Creek. Once you're here, you'll want to head off to the right. And you'll want to head into this hut, and there's your Dwekel soldier. So, now that we've completed more into the soldier, you want to slash join Underworld. And we're going to head back to Dage again to do the third quest for joining the Legion. Want to go back to his quest, Legion quest, and understanding undead champions. And you need 80 ravaged champion souls. And to get those, um, 
basically what you need to do is you will need to get them from battle under B and they are dropped from any undead champion. So let's join battle under B. I'll show you guys who to kill. So you want to walk by all of these guys, ignore them. One uh, easier way you can do this is slash join uh, battle under C if you have that area completed and just go back through the door to yep. the boss. So here's the undead champion. He has 20k health, so this will take a little bit of time compared to the rest. Keep in mind you'll need to kill him 80 times. So after that, we will be on to our next Dage quest. So let's head back to the underworld. And let's head back over to Dage, shall we? And the next quest uh, that he'll have for us is called Player vs. Power, and you need 200 combat trophies. Now, this is the part that takes the longest, so say, uh, so we're, we're just going to go over some, like, timings here and the best way to join um, the Legion. So basically, in the beginning, we showed how you have to buy the Undead Warrior. Now, keep in mind that you can sell back the Undead Warrior and make back 90% of your ACs if, it's with, if it is within the first 24 hours of your purchase. So... This part being the longest, which is farming the combat trophies, I would highly recommend that you farm the combat trophies ahead of time before you go and buy the um, Undead Warrior so that you can make sure that you can sell it back within 24 hours. So to farm combat trophies, there is an easy way if you have you and a friend or you and an alt account. So what you want to do is slash join Blood Rut Brawl and join a private room. And uh, Raj will join here, and he will be on the other team once he joins in just a minute. And there you go. Raj is here. He's on the other team. What you want to do is you want to head off to the right. Keep going through all these doors until you're at the enemy side of the Blood Rut Arena. You want to walk through here. Ignore your friend because, you know, he's trying to help you get these combat trophies. Head off to the right again, walk up into here, and you want to kill the captain. Now keep in mind, if you do not have Void High Lord, you're, you're going to have to kill the, uh, the healer guys. And I'll show you where they are in a minute, but there you go. They, we killed the captain, and Team A has won. And there you go, three combat trophies. So you'll want to do that 200 times. Say you don't have a class like Void High Lord, which I'm assuming most of you don't. Instead of going straight to the boss, what you'll want to do is head up the middle route here. Head off to the right. And you want to kill the Team B Restorers. So they are basically what what keeps the, the main guy alive there. And I will cut back to when we are back at Dage for our next quest. Alright guys, so once you're back at Dage, you are now ready for the final quest. And that is Fail to the King. And you'll need 25 Kingsguard Slain. And by Kingsguard, it means King Altion's Knights. And you get those from slash join prison. Now, this isn't bad at all. You only have to kill 25 of them, and they have very, very low health. So to escape the prison, you want to kill the prison wall. Walk through here. And here are King Altion's Knights. Now, keep in mind, you only have to kill 25 of them. And then you're good. So let's head back to the Underworld and show you guys what you can now do now that you've joined the Legion. So now that you've finally completed Fail to the King, you can now do everything Dage related. You'll unlock the shops, the merge shop, special items, Legion shops, you'll unlock all of his other quests, champion quests, special item quests. You'll now be able to farm Legion tokens, you'll be able to get like his classes, you'll be able to get so much. Here's Swordmaster class, you can get all these armors. Basically every year, Dage's birthday, there's new releases, there's limit, there's like basically an unlimited amount of stuff you can do once you've joined the Legion. So I hope you guys make the best use of it, and I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye. Goodbye.